Discovery Dream Homes, Timber Frame Assembly. We've got a great day, perfect day, calm, sunny. We do have the truck here. He's uh, telling us he's got great access. We have a circular route for him to come in and then exit. After a brief look at our shop drawings and material lists, the timbers and other items can be sorted and placed in strategic locations around the building site. A forklift, zoom boom, or crane can be used to offload the various lifts of materials. The next priority is to locate and mark where the first timber posts and bents need to be placed. Uh, the fellows up on the floor right now, they're, they're taking the layout of our post locations for where their timbers to sit. We want to mark them on the floor so that once we start assembling our timbers, uh, we can go ahead and raise them. We'll know exactly where they're going to sit. Yeah. Okay guys, we're all set there with our plan of attack here. Let's get going. We're going to start our first bent. Assemble her up and we're off to the races. For more efficient packaging and shipping, we sometimes mix timbers from different bents and locations on the floor plan. It doesn't take long though to sort through and locate individual pieces. It's well worth a bit of extra effort to get organized before loading timbers up onto the subfloor. Individual timbers are usually light enough to be hand carried to where they need to be. You're now ready to start building your timber frame. <laughs> when constructing the frame bents, timbers need to be elevated off the floor to accommodate strapping and eventual lifting by crane. Make sure you have some blocking pieces pre-cut and ready to help elevate the wood high enough for crane access. Our frames are pre-built in our shop and are tested for fit, but you'll need some tools to finesse the joinery into place. Use non-marking plastic mallets for hammering. Hardwood dowels are used in the mortise and tenon joints, but the holes are not drilled all the way through the joinery until the bents are fully built on site. Use plastic mallets where possible to avoid marking any of the visible timbers. Once the timber bents are near completion, ratchet strapping is a great way to do fine adjustments in frame alignment. All our timber frames are pre-built in our Peterborough, Ontario manufacturing plant. We primarily use eastern white pine. It's a structurally sound, light and aesthetically beautiful species of wood with lots of character. We air dry our timbers for up to 18 months outside so most of the settling, shrinkage and checking is already done. White pine is also easy to work with on site and very easy on your tools. Okay, get Andrew get his uh, top started. Our quality control process is very well thought out, and because we computer cut our timbers, you can be assured of a precise fit. Timber bents can be stacked one on top of the other to conserve space on the subfloor. Just make sure the bents are separated with blocking so you can easily strap them for the crane. Congratulations, Guy. First bend's done, good work. In just a few hours, the timber bends will start to take shape. Contractors and homeowners will quickly learn the Discovery Dream Home system. It can also be a very rewarding and fun process. Well, we we're at the raising day today. Uh, yesterday we started off with a bit of rain, had a couple hour delay, but sun come out and we have all our timbers together. Looking forward to a great day today. Last night we were walking around looking at all the timbers on the house and we were so excited and so pumped we cannot wait to see these go up. We've got a 40 ton crane, a nice rear mount. I believe he's got about 120 feet of reach. So that's perfect. We, we can fly out to here, lift the bent up. We have timbers set over here we have to swing to and fly in. So. Uh, this is, uh, this is great, perfect. If you or your contractor are not experienced with timber frame construction, we are happy to provide a consultant to make the process as smooth as possible. 
Once the timber vents are lifted into place, the pace quickens. Make sure to have lots of blocks pre-cut to secure the posts. We'll provide lots of structural lumber to use as bracing as well. First bent, we want to brace it off well. Uh, it actually gets plumbed up. The plumbing of this one uh, works through for the rest of the structure. Uh, but the main thing is it's got to stand on its own when we take the crane off. One of the key tools and safety precautions is scaffolding. With the bent up, uh, now we get our scaffold ready so we can uh, start accessing our, our high points, setting beams in, taking straps off. You can do it with ladders, but the scaffold makes it safe. You will be amazed at how quickly the timber frame is erected. Generally, all the timber bents can be assembled in two or three days. Raising day itself can be a little fast-paced and exciting, but the projects really begin to look like a home. At Discovery Dream Homes, we've designed and built hundreds of timber frames. From small cabins to enormous mega mansions and commercial structures, we have the expertise and know how to help make your dreams and vision a reality. There are many different types of timber frame construction and our design team will help you find the best look and style to suit your needs and budget. Our last major piece here is called the ridge beam, sitting right at the peak. And that'll finish us off. As the finishing touches and final timbers are put into place, it's nearly time to call it a day. In most cases, cranes are needed for just a single day. Well, that was a great day. Beautiful day, good crew, good weather. Our last piece. Erecting the timber frame is an important part of building your home. And at Discovery Dream Homes, we're with you right through to the end of construction. When you decide to build your dream timber frame, we hope you'll consider us at Discovery Dream Homes. Contact us toll free at 1-866-395-5647 or visit our website at www.discoverydreamhomes.com.